Hi, I'm Peter Pollock, author of Web Hosting for Dummies, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to back up to a USB flash drive. If you have data of any kind, you need to ensure that you have a good backup. One of the best ways to do this is to get yourself a flash drive, like this 8GB one from Kingston, and back up everything from your computer onto the drive. That way, if anything happens to your computer, you've always got a copy for safekeeping. Here's the flash drive removed from the packet. It's a, a very small little thing. Uh, flash drives come in all shapes and sizes, but they all have the same USB connector on them. And so what you need to do is find an empty USB port on your computer or laptop. You'll find them on the back the sides or sometimes on PCs they'll be on the front and simply slot the drive into the port. It should slide in easily. If it's not going in easily then flip the drive around and try again. It can only go in one way. Don't try and force it or you'll break both the drive and the computer. Your computer should pop up to say that you plugged in a USB drive and it may take a few moments to initialize it. Open your file manager and you will see the drive listed under computer. To copy files, go to where the documents are that you wish to copy and highlight the ones that you want to back up. Now to copy more than one at once, you can click on the first one then hold the control key down and click on each document that you wish to back up. Alternatively, if the documents are all in a set, you can click on the first one, hold the shift key down, and click on the last one, and it will highlight everything between the two you held down. Next, right click on one of those files, and this will open up a menu. When I say right click, I mean click on the right mouse button. One of the options on that menu is copy. You need to left click on copy. Now if you look down on the left hand side of the file manager, under computer, you will see your new USB drive. Click on that to open up the USB drive. Now right click in the open space that you see there and select paste. What this will do is create an exact copy of all the files you selected and place them there on your backup drive. You can also create folders within your backup drive to help you uh, manage where all the files are. All that's left to do now is take the drive out of the computer and store it somewhere safely. To do that, you need to eject the drive. Now, it's not going to pop straight out of your computer for you, but you need to right-click on the drive itself under the, the menu on the left and select Eject. What this does is it closes any files that are open uh, and stops copying anything that's still copying so that when you take the drive out of the computer, nothing gets damaged. When that's done, simply pull your drive out of the computer and you can now store this in a safe place so that if you ever need it, you know where it is. If you have a website that you want to back up, what you need to do first is to download all your files using FTP and download your database, if you have one, onto your computer and then do the same process that I just showed you of copying the files onto the USB drive and you can keep those safely and securely wherever you store your drive. I've made a separate video of how to backup using FTP and how to make a backup of your database using phpMyAdmin and those details are also in my book Web Hosting for Dummies. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful. Please feel free to leave a comment, ask questions if there's anything you need to know.